Hi, I'm Mr. Simons, and in this video, we're going to look at the issue of the NI route, the non accelerating inflation rate of unemployment. So, this falls under the category of unemployment, but it contains elements of inflation and it can be very complicated. So, let's take it slow and let's see how we go. talking about the Nye route. And what we're going to do is we're going to start from another couple of concepts and then we're going to come to the Nye route. What we're going to do is we're going to start with this idea of full employment. Now, full employment is the situation where the quantity of labor demanded equals the quantity supplied by people in the economy. And that our sort of idea about full employment is the same as labor market equilibrium. So it's this situation. The quantity demanded of labor equals the quantity supplied of labor. But what I want you to think about is that even when an economy is at full employment, some level of unemployment will exist. Is full employment a lie? No, it's not, but that it is not a situation where everyone is employed, right? At full employment, some level of unemployment will exist. So let's now think about what full employment actually mean. At full employment, there are all sorts of people that still can't get work. So there are frictionally unemployed, seasonally unemployed, structural, hardcore unemployed people. But the key point is that at full employment, there is no cyclical unemployment. So there is no unemployment caused by economic downturn or a slowdown in aggregate demand. So this is a very important distinction to make. So at full employment, when there is no cyclical unemployment, there is still a base level of unemployment. There is still a group of people that cannot find work. And those group of people consist of frictional, seasonal, structural and hardcore unemployed people. So we've we've just looked at full employment and now we're going to try and understand the NIRU. So the NIRU stands for the non-accelerating inflation rate of unemployment. And what I want to be very clear about is that we can go into huge amount of detail on this topic. We could do entire economics PhDs on topics such as this. But for our purposes, we're just going to keep it relatively simple. The Nairu is the level of unemployment at which there is no cyclical unemployment. So the Nairu occurs when an economy is at full employment. And this is the point that I've made here. Full employment occurs at the Nairu. And the key thing to think about is that there is no cyclical unemployment at the Nairu. There's all those other kinds of unemployment, structural, frictional, seasonal, but there is no cyclical unemployment. The key thing that we should think about is that the Nairu tells us, so as economists, how to further reduce unemployment, depending on whether we are at that level of the Nairu or we're a little bit higher. At the Nairu, an increase in economic growth will not see a further decrease in unemployment. If we are at the Nairu and we try and speed up the economy to reduce unemployment further, we're actually not going to see a reduction in the Nairu. This is because increased economic growth only reduces cyclical unemployment. But remember, at the Nairu, there is actually no cyclical unemployment. So this means that higher economic growth, so speeding up the economy through, say, expansionary macro policy, that's not going to reduce the frictional, seasonal, structural or hardcore unemployment. At the Nairu, an increase in economic growth will not see a further reduction in unemployment. So what happens if we try and reduce unemployment below the Nairu, below the point at which there is no cyclical unemployment? So remember that higher economic growth will not reduce unemployment further at the Nairu. Remember, this is because higher economic growth will only reduce cyclical unemployment, but cyclical unemployment is zero at the Nairu. So instead, if there is higher economic growth, what will happen is all of these firms will have extra demand for goods and services, but they won't have any workers to supply it. 
So what they'll do is they'll go to other firms and try and steal their workers with higher wages because there's no one else in the economy that has the skills because they're all structurally or frictional or hardcore unemployed. So what the employers will do is they will try and steal workers from each other because there are no other suitable workers looking for jobs. And this will result in inflation because if I want to steal you from your existing job, I have to offer you higher wages to make it worth your while. So if we try and reduce unemployment at the Nairu by speeding up the economy, all we're going to do is increase inflation. Okay, so here we've got two situations to try and simplify it. If an economy is above the Nairu and if an economy is at the Nairu. If an economy is above the Nairu, then the government can stimulate the economy because cyclical unemployment still exists. But if an economy is at the Nairu and it tries to reduce unemployment further by stimulating economic growth, by speeding up the economy, it will only increase inflation. It will only force firms to steal workers from each other and it won't actually reduce unemployment further. So at the Nairu, speeding up the economy is not going to reduce unemployment any further. So what do we do to reduce the Nairu? So at the Nairu, the only way to reduce unemployment further is to address those other types of unemployment. So structural, frictional, long-term. So if we can better match worker skills with available vacancies, or we can encourage people back into the workforce, or if we could do a combination of these. If we can give workers more in-demand skills, so retrain them and give them the skills the economy needs, that could reduce structural unemployment. So these are the kind of strategies that we could use to reduce the Nairu if we are at that level. Okay, so not an easy topic in this video. Go back, see if you can be very clear about what the Nairu means and how we can reduce unemployment if we are above the Nairu or if we are at the Nairu. And as always, thanks for watching.